Tonight at 6, miles long traffic headaches stretching from West Charlotte to the north side of the Queen City. 24 hours from now, this traffic map will look a lot different with former President Donald Trump set to come to town. Charlotte Mecklenburg officials are already warning drivers to prepare for major congestion for hours. Parts of I-85 are set to be shut down near the airport and in North Charlotte. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce is live in North Charlotte. So Daniel, should we expect the interstate to be closed off the entire afternoon here? Well, what we've learned from CMPD is that this we're talking sporadic closures over about a 14 mile stretch of I-85 because uh, the president is going to be in town. He's going to be speaking at a private event in North Charlotte for the Fraternal Order of Police Officers. The closures are going to be between 230 in seven o'clock, so essentially peak driving time on a Friday afternoon. The president not set to speak until about four o'clock. And as Morgan mentioned, uh, we were talking that 14 mile stretch between Charlotte Douglas International Airport all the way up to North Charlotte. Now, CMPD can't say much whenever we're talking about sporadic. They can't specify when these closures will happen and what the detours are going to be because the former president could show up on time or he could be delayed getting into Charlotte. That's going to impact everything, his own timing. Uh, there are going, going to be delays. That is going to happen, but officers are going to be doing what they can to direct people toward various detours, but you need to either leave work early or try and work from home to avoid to avoid being caught in the traffic and even just driving. If you've driven I-85, you know that the headaches are around the airport here along this exit, exit 36, which you already see backing up on a regular basis because there's construction in the area. So you need to be mindful of this as well. Now, coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, there is a message that a woman who lives in a neighborhood that is just off I-85, I'm going to share her message that she has for drivers who may decide to try and cut through her neck of the woods to avoid these closures. Live along I-85, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.